Fog Entertainment back again with another video and we're looking at The Sopranos Season 2 Episode 4 Commentatori and we're looking at Furio Furio of course a part of the Italy crew the Italian Stallion Mafia but I guess what Tony wanted him stateside but in today's video we're looking at what if Furio never went to the United States of America mean Gene well what would have happened well I'll tell you what if we look at Furio's impact on the show from going, he doesn't really do an awful lot. But the main points are, he is like, he adds to Tony's crew. I think, like, in terms of a physical aspect, he's like one of the very few guys where, I, I think in a fight, he could beat most people that the Soprano crew would run into. I, know, I don't know, like, you feel it, you look at Silvio, you look at Polly, you look at Chris, you look at Big Sal, you look at Bobby... Even Tony himself, albeit the Bobby and Tony fight in season six is pretty great, like, so I'm not going to take away for that, but they're all like fat or scrawny, like, there's no like real in between, but I feel like Fur uh, Furio really adds to the, the you know, just the, the, the genetic jackhammer, so to speak. But what would have happened? Of course, he comes, he, he throws a couple of beat downs in his like first episode, he starts dancing with Carmela and all that good stuff, but guess what? That's basically where this video is going. Him and Carmela kind of fall in love, they share a kiss, and they're falling in love. Carmela is taken aback by Furio and his romantic for the old country. You went back to the old country, Furio. Big Furio must be packing a big Italian sausage, a nine-inch Italian sausage, ready to destroy Carmelo Soprano. Maybe that's what Tony's insecure about, because when he takes off his top, his flab covers his sausage. Who knows what's going on there? But realistically... He's also involved in, like, when Jackie April, uh, sorry, senior, Jackie April Jr., when he shoots up the card game, Furio does get shot in the leg. But basically what it boils down to is his relationship with Carmelo Soprano. That would just never have happened. And, you know, even though it's not the final straw, it is kind of like one of the final straws in Tony and Carmelo's relationship when they get, like, the, the big dramatic divorce and he gets thrown out of the house at the end of season four. It is a key factor, and obviously Tony fucking the one-legged uh, Russian is a pretty big factor in that. But realistically, Carmela didn't even do anything. Like, yeah, she admitted her love for another man, which is like a big no-no. But at the end of the day, like they didn't actually do anything. Now, no one wants to hear that. No one wants to hear their partner love someone else. But at the end of the day, all they did was kiss. And it's weird that Carmela would even come and say she loves Furio. She could say like she loves everything about him which still would be damaging to their marriage of her and Tony, but it's a bit weird. But for Furio, he wouldn't have got shot. He probably would have just stayed in Italy, made a couple of dosh, probably pumped Annalena or Isabella or Annabelle or whatever the fuck her name is, man. The big Italian broad with the big knockers, man. He got stuck into them probably. But you know what? I like Furio. I feel like he was a strong presence as soon, he was, as, soon as he was introduced in the show in that episode. Comment and Tori, and you know what? He gave us some pretty good moments throughout the show. There's a bee on your hat, and just slaps him at the golf course. I thought it was a pretty uh, iconic line. He's also got some pretty good other stuff in there when he visits like Sean and Matt as well. But anyway, guys, that is it for this B Sopranos video. That is what would have happened if Furio didn't go to the America. Pretty much nothing really would have changed. The part feel like he wouldn't have got love struck with Carmelo Soprano. She wouldn't have got love struck with him. He wouldn't have got shot. But I think Tony and Soprano still would have went through their whole divorce stage and then they obviously I know they end up getting back together, but aye man. Anyway guys, till next time, leave your thoughts down below. That is Fog Entertainment signing. We'll be back with loads more content soon. But until next time, peace.